Hello, this is Geo, and this is a clogged sink. Pretty clogged. Actually, on this side, there's a garbage disposal. On this side, is a regular drain. And I've tried a couple of things just initially to try to get it on clog. First of all, I just grabbed, this is kind of an automatic, you put the stopper down and the garbage disposal works. So I just kind of stuck it in here. That drain, but it all just fills up into that side and then comes back here. So that's the first thing I learned that the plumbing, go down to the bottom of the sink here. Here's the garbage disposal. Here's the pipe linking the drain, uh, the two sinks together. And so the, the blockage is not in this middle, middle pipe, it's actually from here on out. Now, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, blockages happen at joints. And very often it happens at P-traps. This is the P-trap leading out. And so I've already uh, tried a few things. I tried to fish it. I could kind of tell that um, there's a blockage right after the bend in this P-trap. So I've gone down, I've turned, and the blockage, I bet you anything, is right about here. It's kind of a constriction point, and based on my fishing, it just doesn't seem to want to pass that. And so I think if I take this P-trap out, I'll get the blockage out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that next. So one of the things I know is I am dealing with a lot of water. I've tried to wait for it to drain. It's not really draining that quickly. I've tried some plungering. Again, I've tried uh, putting some back pressure on it using the garbage disposal. Nothing seems to get rid of this water. So the only hope is to open up the drain and drain it into a bucket. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to grab a wrench here. Connect onto this and just loosen this cap. You want to open it up really slowly because it, water will come out. And you can see the water starting. So well, there could be a little bit of pressure so I don't want it to kind of spit up on me. So hold it with your hand. There you go. Now I'm just going to drain this water slowly. This is the first step of figuring out where the water is coming from, so I know it's not in this first joint, or I wouldn't be getting water. And there you go, I've drained all the water. It's pretty much empty. And the sink's empty. So I did uh, make sure that I had a big enough bucket to accommodate all the water. Unfortunately, I can't take this bucket out until I unloosen this part, which I'll do next. I'm just removing the P-trap right here. Doing it with one hand, of course. There you go. And now, inside is the blockage. Okay, I removed the water, dumped it, put this pan underneath it for residual leakage. And after I examined the P-trap, it's still a little grody, but this wasn't the cause of the blockage. Actually, you can just feel with your finger that the blockage extends farther in, and it's actually this, this kind of a compacted wad of material there. So I'm hoping that it'll end at this next joint, which I'm going to unscrew next. Okay, so I did find the blockage. It was in this trap, and you could see the blockage there, and the pipe that extends beyond is grody but essentially free of blockage. But in this process I've learned that this old pipe I was trying to loosen this off and actually I couldn't get this this uh, cap off. In fact I just pulled this straight out and so the compression washer that's in there is totally shot. I'm not sure exactly what's keeping this in here, if it's rust or if somebody epoxied something to keep this still, 
but I'm going to try to get this cap off and see kind of where I lie. I'll probably have to break this cap. So that's next. And I was able to get it loosened and it actually spins out and it is the seal is shot. And so I'm going to have to get a new little compression joint for that so I can go ahead and seal this all up. But I did find the blockage and I just have to fix the mess. And this is quite common, especially in old houses where you're trying to find uh, blockage and you've come across a whole bunch of extra mess. And in fact, probably the cause of this originally original plug is because this joint was shot. And so hopefully I can do a better job and get this back to normal. Right. So fortunately I did find another compression washer and a new cap. So I'm just going to put this over the old one. This is still very rusted so the seal's not going to be great but for right now I'm just hoping that will work. So I'm going to stick this back in here and clean this off as best I can. I'm going to loosely fit it for now. And it's going on for at least now. I'm just loosening. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to loosely put this component on. You want to loosely connect all these pieces initially, the P-trap the P -trap and all these pipes, because they will, you kind of have to adjust all the joints so they're, they work. So just make sure that everything is properly in here. And that. This fitting is good, and then this terrible. Hopefully, this will seal. If not, I'm gonna have to get a new pipe. Okay, it's taut, that's taut, and this one's taut. So, hopefully, it should work. And now, time. Time to fill it up and see what happens. I have to clean all that out. My main interest here is making sure that all the seals, all the joints, are sealed. It's going up. Okay, this is a final test. I filled up the water a little bit just to get a little bit of pressure. Drain it. Seems to be draining okay. The water's not going through that pipe. And then I just check to see. I don't see any leaks. So I think I solved the problem. I think I'm going to have continuous problems with this particular joint since it is rusty. I may uh, in the future need to do more elaborate work on this joint. But for now, it does solve the problem. So just uh, this is how you uh, unclog a line. And sometimes you do get into trouble, like I had to replace that one joint. But um, I hope this helped you. See you next time. Bye-bye.